Guys, Paul with Apache Rifle Works here with another really cool review on what I think is probably one of the best subguns on the market. Not inexpensive, but the quality of this thing is ridiculous. Introducing to you the Bruger and Thornet or B&T GHM9. Stay tuned. Guys, welcome back to another gun review. Today we're gonna to be looking at the GHM9 chambered in nine millimeter from Bruger and Thornet or BNT. This is a Swiss company. These guys make crazy high quality sub guns, handguns, suppressors as well, and some of the probably more unique firearms in the sub gun category. And they're just, their stuff is first class. We're gonna kinda of go over what makes this thing tick. Now, of course, it's got a few things on it just to show the accessory capability of this, which obviously is much greater than what you see in front of us. Now, this, you may know for uh, Bruger and Thornet if you kinda of follow the, the firearms industry, but B&T was in 2019 awarded a about a two and a half million dollar contract with the US Army for the APC-9K. It was an initial order of about 350 guns uh, for the U.S. Army and announced it. Basically, they announced this. They, they awarded that for, uh, they were looking for a new submachine gun for the subcompact weapons program. And um, they were using it in security default, detail from what I <clears throat> from what I understand. Uh, they also optioned those guns with slings and other things for them. And, of course, you know, bringing the Swiss-made product from B&T into the U.S. just has created such a wonderful ability to get these things. And and until you hold one and you move, you, you hold the bolt, you move the action, you understand this is a really, really well-built gun. Extremely high quality. And and really, the, the Army decided to go with the APC-9K for personal security details, uh, basically protecting high-risk personnel, uh, like high-ranking dignitaries, senior officers in the field, etc. And basically, obviously, well, I should say their variant is obviously select fire. We don't have that luxury with this guy, but it's a fantastic firearm nonetheless. Now, this thing is available in a couple of different versions. It's, a, it's available in a compact it's available in an integrated suppressed version, which I have never seen. I would love to get my hands on that. That'd be killer. And you're also going to get it in, uh, you can get it to take 30 round BNT magazines and any size Glock pistol magazine in a variant as well. So it's got a tremendous, <clears throat> tremendous capability as far as how it can be applied. The similarities on this are going to have a little bit of MP5 a little bit of AR. It's, it's it's not a super familiar platform, but it's not a really hard to understand platform either. I'm going to flip this big old thing around in here. So when we look at the opposite side, it's got an ambidextrous charging handle, which you can switch from either side. It also is reciprocating. So this is going to move when you fire the firearm. Now, when you're going to get them from BNT, they do not come with the brace system. This has got the gearhead tail work, uh, <clears throat> the gearhead works tail hook. This is a really high quality brace. And uh, if you're familiar with Gearhead Works, everything that they do is extremely, extremely nice. This thing is gonna gonna have its safety located right here, very similar to an MP5. It's also gonna have an ambidextrous bolt release on this side, and flip this thing around on this side as well. Now it's also gonna have your magazine release here, which this is what the magazine looks like. Nice, really lightweight, extremely lightweight. I imagine fairly durable with polymers being what they are today. And you're gonna have, of course, a magazine release here. And a magazine release right here. Now, charging this, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of effort to charge. It's nice and smooth. It feels fantastic. You also have an ambidextrous safety on this side. And the bolt release is fairly easy the bolt release is fairly easy to get to. You see, I've got about medium sized hands. I can release, I can reach the mag release with a little bit of effort. And I can release, this would be a little bit of a stretch for my hands. Somebody with bigger hands might have an easier time doing that. It's going to come with a quad rail set up from the factory, which is nice and thin. And already set up with M lock rail sections on the sides for 
whatever lights, accessories, things that you want to mount on it. This has got a cloud defense owl on it. Killer, killer light. If you've not, not done a review on these, but there's plenty of reviews out there. Killer light. It's a completely integrated system, which means that you can actually disengage the light head and move it to the other side, depending on your configuration and how you want to set this up. If I can do this while not looking. Oh, wow. Struggle busting it real hard right now. You can add this to the bloopers. Locks right in place just like that. It's wearing a Trigicon MRO. The trigger pull on this thing is not bad. See, everybody see it's clear. The trigger pull on this thing, I'd say is probably somewhere around the four and a half to five pound range. But it's nice. It's it's not ultra crisp, right? Like a like an aftermarket trigger, but it's not, doesn't feel like a military trigger. It's got a little bit of take up and it breaks nice and clean, nice heavy firing pin drop. And it's got a little bit of a reset, a little squishiness on it, but it's not bad. Really pronounced reset. You can hear it. It's audible, which is great. And then this is going to be the brace system from BNT. This guy right here. So basically, you've got a, lot, a, a light lock, which allows you to yank it out and deploy it quickly. You can also change length of pull back here if you'd like, but designed to really be run in the full position. Now, this is not going to lock in this position. Okay, this is going to give you a median position here. This final position is a lock. It's not going to go anywhere. Your disengagement for the stock system is going to be down here. Nice big button, which is great. This is pretty pricey down here. Adding this, this system to the back end of this gun is upwards of the $600 range, depending on where you find it. It's extremely expensive, but it is first freaking class. There is no brace system on the market that integrates as nice as this does into this weapon system. The other great thing, too, is if you look at the muzzle... You're looking at a three lug system with half 28 threads on it. So this thing is already ready for any three lug adapter or a standard half inch, half by 28 inch muzzle device or suppressor. Now, obviously if you're not aware, now it's not a review on the tail works brace, but if you're not aware, the tail hook works like that. So basically there's a small button here. Super, I mean, nice feeling, super nice brace. Now, if you're going to look at the hydraulic buffer system in this, this makes this gun really unique. And these things are pretty tight from the factory. So we're going to, they do have, they do have QD points here. They do have these quick detach points here, which are fantastic. And you need to pull this thing out. And how do we get this out? All right, so to, to basically show you the hydraulic buffer system in this gun is, is really kind of one of the cooler things on it and why it, it, it's such a great firearm to shoot. Now I'm gonna show you, you gotta you basically have your two takedown pins right here. They're a little tight, so you can use something to get them out, make them a little easier to get out of there. Little pin works great, doesn't mar anything up. So you wanna remove your lower. And this thing, this thing is really tight, guys. Which in these pins, like I said, you know, new gun, things are gonna be a little sticky. So there's your lower assembly right here. Nothing revolutionary. It, it seems to have a similar trigger system as an M4, which is great because it's simple. It does use a two pin system. I imagine the dimensions are fairly different. So I don't think you're gonna see anything uh, come through uh, as far as triggers go for this gun. And to be honest, it really doesn't need it. It's, a, it's got a really good trigger from the factory. But super light lower, low end on the trigger group. Now, of course, to, to look at the bolt system and to do a quick field strip, you basically got to go through, pop this rear pin off, and that's going to come out just like that. And then you're going to have your stock assembly here, which you sold your organs for. <laughs> Great system, but it's really expensive. And then your recoil system here for your uh, your twin recoil springs super simple design and charging handle is going to pop out you just move it to this rear position right and then look at how simple that is 
it does have a hydrostatic buffer here it does have this is this is hydraulic this is a hydraulic buffer it's really cool it's going to take reduce the shock of this heavy well this bolt's substantial um it is one big block of steel and built i mean this is a tank of a bolt for a nine millimeter and you can just see all the polishing done on everything it's just a great great bolt and super simple receiver polished chamber face feed ramps are polished i mean the, the thing the thing is just well built now the interesting thing about bnt is that the reason why it was named the ghm9 is because it's basically called the grasshopper mouse and the grasshopper mouse is a carnivorous rodent which if you want to do a little bit of discovery channel looking up it is a crazy crazy little rodent that eats freaking scorpions so very appropriate for something like this and if you look it's got a little bit of it's got a little bit of that right there let's turn that around so you can see it there's the grasshopper mouse right there eating a scorpion super cool little rodent and since uh, youtube doesn't like me uh taking stuff apart on here i'll just kind of field strip this back together so guys the ghm9 a great great piece of swiss engineering wonderful sub gun i could only imagine what it'd be like shooting this thing in full auto let's go give this thing a shot and thank y'all for listening to this review y'all have a great day We'll